So I'm assuming we were finishing this week. I, I, yeah, I can't imagine this game goes on that much longer. And I'm going to stream it over to you. <sighs> Stuck in a cave. That's us. Stuck in a cave. There we go. We got our beat. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick it off. Hi everyone, and welcome to what we hope is the final episode of our Let's Play of the Excavation of Pop Sparrow. It's me, Dia. Em is over there. Say hi, Em. It's Gundam time. It's Gundam time. <laughs> We're stuck in a fucking cave. Let's go. Let's find some more cats. Okay, we gotta look at that plinth first before we do anything oh, here. Fucking, fucking plinths. All right. As as Roman Mars of ninety seven nine percent invisible says, the plaque is inscribed with Latin text. My father understood the language well. I'm afraid I don't. Does she know Latin? How do you not know Latin? So moon, star, the other thing, whatever the other thing is. I was stone and he was wax, so he could scream and still relax. I don't, know I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. And we frightened the small children away. What is that? It's the Bewley brothers. I don't know. I sent it is. to you. I sent it okay. to you because we were in the town of Bewley. Oh, right. And I was I like, the only Bewley I have ever heard of are the fucking Bewley brothers. <sighs> okay. Putting it at the end. I'm put, so I'm, that, moon, that's what I'm doing. Stars. I'm putting the, wait, what's, moon, uh, stars. Locutus. Is that an eyeball? Yeah, Locutus eyeball. <laughs> I yeah, Star Trek Locutus, a Borg eyeball. He's so got Borg? the laser on his eyeball. That's what Borg. it means. <laughs> I was a Latin. I was a National Latin Merit Scholar, and I'm just looking I, at this not, like out of my high school didn't even teach Latin. They they yeah. don't do Latin anymore yeah. unless you go to a rich person's school, which you did. To be fair, I did. So. I did. I went to a rich. I went to a rich Nazi school. Yeah. Um, God. Um, it's remarkable. You're not like the most evil person I know. There was there, you know how Michael Michael Lutz has his like yes. there's the libertarian path. I have the much worse pathway. No, no, no. Michael has the same thing I did, where you you just like you realized you weren't a, a conservative, uh, but the, the Democrats weren't hitting exactly the way you thought you did, and that was the only thing people saw. And so the only third form that you see in like the Midwest and where Michael grew up is just like the fucking libertarians or objectivists. We all have our little dalliance for a second. And you go, wait a second, I don't actually care about like guns in the free market like these people do. <laughs> um, this was pre-social media. It's so much easier to become all sorts of things politically when you are exposed to other ideas. Turns out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I assume this means first go into the moon door, then go into the star door, then go into the fucking other door, which is an eyeball. You know, maybe. Well, we have we have three doors ahead of us, and there's like a moon, an eye, and a, a sun star. So I assume moon first. Okay. Well, let's just let's just let's just try it. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Worst comes worst, we have our save. It's not going to kill us. This, this is a modern game. Modern games don't kill people. Wait, we could. We can't. That's a. That's a. That's that's a. That's a fucking. Like um, one of those words, um, uh, a conjunction. It's like one of those those, those fuckers. Um, no, okay, because you are. It's, it's because that's what it, it's got to be. Because I'm trying to running through my fucking shit. Hold on, I'm just looking this fucking up. Queer. Okay. Queer is because because you are the moon. Yeah, is what I'm guessing. Yeah. Ducks. I don't know where fucking ducks is. That's the that's a far fetch you get in Pokemon Red and Blue when you Frank, that Frank Dukes <laughs> from from Bloodsport. Uh, leader Ad Astra. Ducks is leader. Okay. So, so you're the moon. Something that's leading to the stars, I guess. So, yeah. All right. You get an Audi. Yeah. And you hang out with Lacutus. Ego Lacutus. And the cutest goes, my, my jet is actually better than your Audi, and I paid thirty thousand dollars less for it, and you throw them out. Um, okay, well, let's just fucking, let's just fucking. Okay, so we got moon. moon. Look at the moon. Oh, yeah, the sun, sun, moon, moon eyeball. Eye, and the cutest. 
The cutest, cutest is like is speech, eyeball. though, isn't it? Isn't speech? Isn't yeah. the cutest like? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't... Anyway, okay, we're, we're going through the moon door. Go to the moon. Oh no. We went the moon and we ended up in the flashback baylet. Well, that's how you know we're doing it, all right. Yeah. Maybe the other we... door just like loop around, probably. I hope we find out what's actually going on with us and our fucking mom because we really haven't. Father? No. With popish tricks and relics rare, the priests their flocks do gull. In casting out the earth, take care. Huzzah! I've found a skull! No, that's not how it goes. All right. Pick up that paper. Yeah. Solid this is my book father's wrote handwriting. That day cannot be found today. It's stocking time for the Moon Boys, the Puley Brothers. My initial suspicions are proving to be true. We are not dealing with a mere goblin, a mere folk goblin, conjured up in the minds of farmers on which to blame their failures. Saxnot may dwell here, but he is not alone. I think back to all I have studied, all I have learned. Everything points to the possibility of a much more malign influence. Something long forgotten stirs within this bleak place. Something dark, something monstrous longs for attention. I have prepared the tablet. I will put an end to this. I right, don't uh, understand. Well, you need what to prepare is this a tablet. tablet. He keeps referring to aspirin. Go through the uh, star door. Oh yeah, there we go. <coughs> Daddy. Three, two, one. You can open your eyes now, Thomasina. Come. Are you ready for your first excavation? Father! Capital. Make sure you remember everything I've taught you. I have a like feeling Latin. you might find something special. <laughs> Can you hear me, Father? Is it really you? I'll be watching from the steps, my little bird. Good luck! Okay. Uh, yeah. I haven't seen this for years. Head back. I remember this. Oh. Did you pick up? Oh. Oh, trowel. Go digging in the dirt. Let's go digging in the dirt. Like Peter Gabriel. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. Hey. Dirt to the left. Yeah. Nothing. And there's probably one all the way to the right. I, um, I did, uh, yeah. the Legend of Karandia book two game, uh, for Adventure Gamers Clubhouse this week or this month. Yeah. And, um, it was really astounding to play a game that did not indicate at all where you could click on something after playing this for so long. Oh no. And just like being like, wow, you can highlight where things are and they're clickable. And like, that was just like nothing. And half the time. Oh, the wretched smell. Well, yeah. What is the meaning of this? Well, the cat that's dead. Father? Um. Lacutus would probably be ear then, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Mother? Mother? Thomasina, is that you? Father, it is. It's me. My dear, sweet little bird, I'm so very dreadfully hot. Please remove these covers. They suffocate me so. Father, you can talk again. 
and I've got so much to ask you, so much to tell you. But please, first, the covers. He could be dead. He could be. Is he gonna be a skeleton under there? Is he just gonna be dirt and worms? Like what we got? He's chameleon, comedian, Corinthian, and caricature. <sighs> dirt and worms. No, oh, it's no, arteries. It's so much worse. God, that's great. Father, your body. I am oh, the my arm. my dear, clever girl. You're so close now. How good it is to finally speak with you again. <laughs> but... Don't worry. It will all be fine soon. You're close to the end, little bird. Daddy, you're all fucked up. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Water, mouth, crown. See, we... we... We missed something. We should have wrote it all down. We should have written it all down. Do we have? We well, okay. Have... So wait. D check our thing. Is it? Is it on? Is it in any one of these? Maybe. That says gonna. Wait. You have to look at them. You, oh, that's right. Can use it. I can't yeah. see how. No, 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 no. No. Oh wait. wait, it's a translation. For out at the moon, moon, the chief of the stars. Listen to the things that I have said. Oh, follow okay. the words of my mouth. Reveal they said. Okay. So mouth. Okay. We're, we're doing this right. Sick. Yeah. Okay. Game saved. So you know you're past the fucking maze now. Thank God. All right. Let's go. Yeah. Do, do, do. Docking time for the moon boys. This is like multiple floors deep underground. Dude, we are so like, this, this is fucking hollow earth theory at this point. Yeah. Like the pressure alone should just be just like crushing her like eardrums. Yeah. But it's kind of sick, so I'm going to go with it. Arcapaz, Arcapaxas, Arcpac, Arc, Arcpac, yeah, Ac, Acpac, As, Ac, Acpac, Ac. <laughs> okay, Mars attacks aliens <laughs> coming Mars over here. Mars attacks aliens. <laughs> Since they built this. My God. Yeah. The Mars attacks aliens have been here before. <laughs> oh no. Oh, they're real fucked up looking. Yeah, it's a it's a chicken with two snake legs. Father. This ends Oh, I thought those in, like, uh, in Dark Souls. They're pretty cool. Yeah. God, I can't remember who it is in, like, uh, Aztec cosmology, who, like, the god whose brother chopped his head off, and then, like, two spouts of blood came out, and then they turned into serpents. That's pretty cool. It was sick. I remember learning about that. My grandfather just yelled at me about that, and I'm just like, yeah, hell yeah. We fucking rule. We got soil. We got you know a what we do with soil. I should take a closer look. Oh, okay, fine. Soil. Yeah, soil. There's something here in the soil. It's Saxonheart. A tablet. It's a tablet. Made of lead. There's an inscription scratched into it. Alige's... Daemonium incantamentum. With mine blood shall thou be bound to the earth, and only with mine blood shall thou be freed. Is this what Saxnot was referring to? My father wrote this? I know what I need to do. Why is that what you know what you need to do? Well, if if like father if her father bound it with blood, she's his blood, right? So it breaks whatever oh. binding he did. 
Because we're trying to like free Saxnot, right? That's what Saxnot told us to do. Yeah. And that I was don't know clearly... why, we decided, why we decided that was a good idea, but... I think it's Saxnot promised his daddy. I can still scarcely okay. believe what I saw looming over me in that Stygian chamber. Can't be that bad. How does one Stygian. even attempt to yeah. describe the indescribable? The vision before me defied all logical explanation. All my efforts to do so have fallen on deaf ears, merely providing a chance to be mocked, pitied, and dismissed as mentally unsound. Oh, we're back in the framing device. We are. I dare not commit that unfathomable glimpse to paper, but it was real, Mother. He is real. Not an imaginary terror, but a demon, a god brought to life. I turned and ran, striving to somehow make my way out of that accursed barrow alive, inspirited by the hope that my squalid deed had freed father from his plight. Speechless voices whispered to me in unknown tongues that grew louder with every step. Suddenly, there was light. I saw him too. That night I saved your father. Ever since then, I felt his corruption growing within me. It grew stronger and stronger as he raged against the incantation that bound him beneath the soil. I fought him with all my might, tried hard to bury him in the corners of my mind. Oh, Thomasina, how I tried, but I could deny him no longer. I became now but an instrument. His voice became my own. I deceived you. I'm sorry. I am his now. Soon we'll all be his. Hail the Brexus Rex. Damn. Well, I say she's done it, Leonard. Your Lordship, I believe she has. My dear Miss Bateman, there is a god about whom you know nothing, <laughs> because men have forgotten him. We call him by his name, Abraxas. Welcome back, Master. Come, Leonard. We must await him at the chapel. Aye. Only there shall he be complete. Damn, now we gotta go kill the whole village. <laughs> Not the seventh day. Were we underground for like four days? Ah, Miss Bateman. Welcome back to Ticehurst House. Oh no, okay. It's been quite some time. Terrible weather this evening, is it not? Nurse Bl A bit of rain won't kill me, will it? You, uh, you mustn't be interested in me nattering on. Give my regards to your father. Nurse Blaketon is preparing his supper. You look pale, Miss Bateman. Do head inside. You'll catch your death out here. Mm. Oh, shit. God damn. We just been possessed now.
Do we have an inventory? <clears throat> no, okay. Uh, I hit the interactables. What was that? Space? Oh. Ah. That was my next guess. Could he smash his head in with the urn? You could just explode him like you did the nurses? <laughs> God damn. It's rough out here. Don't get possessed by a demon god. Ah, Mr. Kemp. Welcome. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light. We've a full house for today's sermon. You'd best take your seat. Everyone was in on it. Because it's a creepy my village. My heart is his heart, your lordship. And my light is his light, Mr. Long. You have made an Eden here, your lordship. We are ever so thankful to you. I assure you, Mr. Long, this is only the beginning. Please join the others inside. My heart is his heart. And my light is his light, dear Leonard. How are you feeling? Rich as a fiddle. <laughs> After you. Several years later. And now I sit in this dismal room, day after day, year after year. Imprisoned and committed with seemingly little hope of redemption. You have chosen not to visit me, and I understand that I do. Indeed, I've had but one visitor, Arthur Tillett. He comes to see me once or twice a year. A loyal and decent man who tried in vain to warn me of the wicked plot concocted by Lord Panswick and Mr. Shoulder. Thankfully, Midland Railway accepted his transfer request. He and his wife were able to leave that damnable village several weeks after my excavation. It feels like an age has passed since that fateful night at Ticehurst House. But finally, you have my full account. I thought I knew my father. As I look back on my childhood memories, I can only conclude that it was his wish to protect me from the true nature of his endeavors. But why didn't you tell me the truth? Especially after what happened to him at Hobbsboro. Why did you allow me to grow up idolizing a man who didn't exist? I did not kill father. It was he that guided my hand. I was in thrall to that most malevolent force, Abraxas. I beg you to understand. He has had his revenge, but I know he will return. Where is he now? What more is he capable of? He's shown him you wanted to save my father. <laughs> Oh, mother, what have I done? Forgive me. We did it. You did it. Well then. What have we accomplished here today? Nothing. Summon think, to God. I think we ended England. Well, yeah, but at what cost? England? England seems to be the cost. Yeah, but if it's an evil God, then it's just gonna consume everything, right? That's probably a negative. I don't know. 
I mean, we don't know that it's an evil god. It might just be anti-England. That's true. Oh, yeah. If that's the, the case, then sure, go ahead, I guess. I mean, the enemy of my enemy. I'll take what I can get. Fair enough. What do you think? Um, I feel like it was... <laughs> I would like all of the little, the consistent parts to be more evenly dispersed and not in giant chunks of exposition, then puzzle rooms, then here's all your story. Yeah. Um, I think in terms of like a kind of a full quarry plot, it's like very conventional, you know? Um, mm. uh, I wish there was just like more seeding of like the tensions of the town being creepy. Like I, I knew, right? Like I, the minute we saw, I was like, oh, Hammer Horror Town. Everyone hears in on it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Lord Summerisle. But the thing about Lord Summerisle is that when you watch The Wicker Man, the argument is in the text that what they have going for them as their weird, like druidic commune or whatever is so much better than the stuck in the mud, awful protagonist cop that's running around The Wicker Man. And I, look, I think Thomasina is, uh, a character that is easy to poke fun at because she is uh, derisible, um, because she represents like enlightenment thinking in like the grotesque way. Um, but I'm not sure the text really understands that. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know do how much the, I don't know how much the game buys into the idea that like you're playing as a character who uh, you're not supposed to really root for that much. <laughs> yeah, no, like right up until the end, I really, or even through the end, I wasn't really sure where my feelings about Thomasina were supposed to lie. Yeah. Um, or what the, what the, you know, the, 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 the text itself wanted me to think of her. Yeah. Um, which is, can be good, but I don't know that it really earned that ambiguity. I, Cause I don't think no. it just, it just doesn't know what, where it feels she's supposed to lie. On that, that I mean, I think I think you were meant to identify with her as a, your, your the care, point of view character of the presumed player, right? Yeah. I feel right. like the, the the twist being played so straight to me re, like reveals that that's always been the point of view. They're like, yeah. oh, she's just the one who is like meant to have the opinions of the opinions of the player, um, which is not was not my experience. Obviously, <laughs> our experience playing through this. <laughs> our experience, yeah, no, you know, town. Yeah. I mean, if you just show up and you're going to be an asshole when you're a Taurus, I can't help you. Yeah. But. I love music attributions. Digging with pickaxe.wav. That's, yeah, no, this. Rock Hammer Chisel 01. <laughs> yeah. Squelchy Squirt by Dr. Minky. <laughs> yeah. Um. Full links to the above can be found in the game's installation folder. Sick. That's sick. I'm I'm all for it. Love there's it. A, there's like a lot about this game that I really loved. I just, I do. I feel like it was very unevenly distributed. Yes. Um, especially because like towards the end, we did get like solid, good, spooky. Oh, look at this. We're, we're, we're deep underground <laughs> and it's terrible. Yeah. Um, but it, it did. But, you know, it's, it's funny because I was just thinking about this other day. Um, I, I see like so many adventure games have that exact problem. Um, yeah. No one, no one, has, no one has figured out how to balance these adventure games in forty years. Except, I guess maybe Lucas. No, because Lucas Arts fucks it up all the time. Um, yeah. What a time we've had excavating Hop's Barrow. Yeah. What a, what I like, a strange game sometimes. I, I like the way we decided to um, depict Abraxas' emergence at the end, which just fucking like purple hot oakens. Yeah. That was good. All right. Well, hey, that was a half an hour. Yeah. Look at that. All right. Sorry, I gotta fit that. Um, well. Do we have anything else to add about Hobbs Barrow? I feel like we kind of talked through it as we went along. Yeah, uh, I um, it's weird because I feel like this has a pretty decent word of mouth as like a, a you know relatively beloved modern adventure game, but um, I didn't dislike it. But I'm I'm like left a little cold. Maybe it's just because I'm like really tuned into this style of like movie that it's pulling from like really yeah. aggressively. Um, I'm just like you know you should watch the Wicker Man, not the Nicolas Cage one. That's a piece of shit. That's way worse than this. But the, the original, great movie. Yeah, the original was incredible. Um, 
with um oh, what's his face i can't remember who plays the the cop he is the the equalizer oh is uh, he the, the original equalizer yeah uh uh christopher lee is lord summer Owl, who's hopefully yeah. having a very good day wherever he is at this moment <laughs> uh i'll never forget the first time i watched that with my stepfather it was just like what what even is this movie also why is this dude so much more pimp than everyone else ever yeah um yeah uh it's an incredible movie um but like it's yeah you know it's funny because like this this really is like you know um this is my genre of horror that I really mm-hmm. like. Yeah. And so, and so like, there were, I was, like, I was like, I was like, Oh, you were pulling out all the things that I really love and respond well to. And it just wasn't quite like catching. Um, yeah. but yeah, you know, I had fun. I had fun doing this with you. Um, but, uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is not this team's first game. Like they made a bunch of games. It seems like a lot of them are smaller. This is like their big breakout, but, mm. um, I feel like uh, it's not without hope. Uh, I would spread the puzzles out a little more. I feel like there was like nothing forever, just like some fetch quests, which are not the same thing as a puzzle. And then too many really like concrete room escape puzzles, but does not have the crimson room sauce that I'm looking for. If you're going to give me like a get out of these chambers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, The the big crunch wheels were all just like right there at the end. Um, Yeah. But. You know what? It didn't make me do a weird, vague arcade sequence um, in a in a barrow like uh, Gabriel Knight one did. Look, if your if your <laughs> metric is does not have <laughs> shitty arcade game uh, segments like Sierra games, then you're going to be happy with basically anything you're fed in the modern era because none of them have those. Wow, amazing! I'm just saying sometimes it's important to have better standards than that. There's a very brief one at the end of uh, Carandia 2 um, that like it was only like five minutes of my life, but it's five minutes of my life. I'll never get back. And it nearly derailed any fondness I had for that game. Damn. <laughs> it's just so it was just like this is Willie Beamish levels of stupid. That's rough. Uh, yeah. Carandia was like a weird one because uh, I'd never even heard of it, but it's got a weirdo energy. It yeah the the like uh, I I hope you enjoy the 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 latest one because um that's got like even weirder energy. It's mm-hmm. got more normie energy at times, and then also much weirder energy throughout. It's very um, yeah, uh, it's a good time. But yeah, um, well, if you haven't already heard, our next game is going to be the Sierra Classic. Leisure Suit Larry. Hell yeah. I requested this. Um, in the land of the lounge lizards, which is the box for this. I'm going to put it up right here. Uh, is so fun. The the original box. I My, my stepfather had it. And I'm just like, it's on the bookshelf. And I was just like, I want to play that. And my stepfather was like, you cannot play that until you're much, much older. And by then, computers won't even play that anymore. Um. I have to look this up since you did not link it to me. So. Oh yeah, I didn't link it to you. No, but um, it was, oh, this one. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. This is great. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, compared to like every other box. I mean, like a lot of the other boxes, like, we did have. We had Sorcerian and Dexter, which were pretty hot, like box art for the day. But like, um, then you pop that, like Leisure Suit Larry, um, the cover for that on a bookshelf, and it's just like, well, damn, um, video games are fucking wild. Um, but yeah. So that's what we're yeah. doing next time. I am so excited. I uh, I played that, I think, when I was like 15, 14, 15. That's wild to me. Like, I went back and finally was just kind of like, you know what, fuck it. I should play those games that I never played. Um, and yeah. I played, like, all that were available at the time. I think there were, like, five or six by that point. Okay. Um, um I wasn't aware, because I didn't really grow up with adventure games. I wasn't aware of Leisure Larry until... Um, that Xbox like 360 game that looks awful came out and then people were talking about it. I was like oh okay this is like a whole thing yeah I forgot about that yeah God, that one was we are not one. going to we're probably not going to do a Leisure Suit Larry like playthrough like we did with Space no, Quest I just wanted one, to see the first one of those that one was because that one was specifically like the college one or whatever wasn't it 
I don't know. I yeah, think it I was think specifically so. the college one because it was like, oh, you put the the college leisure suit Larry on the Xbox because, yeah, everyone, all these kids are in college now. That's leisure suit Larry market. box office bust. Oh, box office bust. I don't remember that one. Yeah. I remember Magna Cum Laude. Um, this is features Larry Lovage, the main character of Larry suit, uh, main suit Larry Magna Cum Laude, um, whose uncle Larry is the original Larry Laffer. Yeah, he does oh, 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 odd jobs. Maybe I'm look. Maybe I'm thinking of Magna Cum Laude. No, because that's 2004. I wasn't watching a job on Quick Look of a 2004 video game. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. one is a college one. Yeah. Okay. That one. That one definitely should have been on yeah. Xbox. If it wasn't. Um, God, these look so fucking awful. These look terrible. It's. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a, a leisure suit Larry purist on this one. Um. It's published by Codemasters. Jesus. Um, the OG um, Legion yeah, Larry, just... they had really wild uh, box art for like all of them mm-hmm. um, that I just really, uh, I always appreciated. Um, and then we get Passionate Patty. She shows up eventually. I don't know what this is. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's it's the, the, the Leisure Suit Larry, you know, uh is is some wild shit but then there's also like there's all the other weird like games that you know um there's like the god there was like one that was like a horny spell cast it was like what if harry potter was a like, horny okay it was t- it's, yeah there's it's 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 terrible the world is terrible um but shout out to al Lowe, uh who i think like she also do it's like King, we did one of the King's Quests, I think, or at least he was like Mr. Program. He was like Mr. Programmer, I think, was his deal at Sierra. Um, he's but... composer on King's Quest two, programmer on three, programmer on f- four. That's right. I remember he had the the composer credit on King's Quest two when I played through it, and was just like, wait, what? Yeah, um... he was also the composer for Mickey's Space Adventure. Designer, writer, voice director on Freddy Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist. That was a fun game. Uh, he is designer and writer up through Larry Suit Larry, Su- Larry Reloaded, the 2013 game. Is this a remake? I assume this is a remake. Yes, this is a remake of the first game. Yeah. Wait. We're, why, we're playing the original. In what, 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 are we, what version are we playing again? We I are, We are going to play um, the EGA version. The, so yes. the OG OG one. Because there is a VGA remake that is actually it's genuinely interesting um i think the trend like the way they translated the art and everything like that is very visually interesting and i think some of the changes to the game itself are interesting but if we're gonna do this we gotta we gotta go back to the the og yeah um i think um god there's like a time limit on it actually which i think is the interesting thing oh really um, yeah yeah because there's okay. there's like um I know there's a timeline on yeah, seven hours. You get eight. I think, in we'll, the real I think we'll manage to complete the game in seven hours. <laughs> I really I think the I think the how long to beat is like two and a half. Okay. Um but yeah, uh it's 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 a it's a really it's a really wild time. Um We'll just have to like sit there and I'll just I'll start a separate game where I just run it for 10 hours or for, for seven God. hours so we could see the game over that you get. Um, I think like he kills himself or something. Actually, I think he's, like, he's so sad he can't get the, wicked, he the, the Wikipedia says he kills himself. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> have all the disclaimers on that. We have to bring out, I have to bring back the Warner Brothers. Oh, yeah. Thing again. Because Jesus Christ, please receive Larry's a mess. Yeah, I uh, this is why I was like, well, well, fun talking about how weird it is. Um, oh, we will, we will. But yeah, and after uh, that, we have our we have our next game already lined up. It's a we doozy, do. way bigger game. I'm excited about that one. That's gonna be yeah. That's that's a secret. I'm almost sad we just can't line that one up for Christmas though. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, oh, we well. yeah. 
Um, um, what have you been up to this week? What have you got going on? Where can people find you? Um, well, uh, literally 18 minutes from where we're doing right this second talking, recording this, Abnormal Mapping will come out about Mr. Mosquito. That's a pretty good episode. You can check that out at thebestgame.club. Um, we have a great time talking about a lot of things, including Astrobot, the idea of like weird Japanese games. Um, talk a lot about Sony's position before and now. Um, a lot of things to discuss there. Um, Mr. Mosquito, uh, almost as incidental to the episode, but Mr. Mosquito's all right. Um, the a lot around Long Fire continues to talk about um, talk about uh, the Poetic Ada. Um, I, I I actually it was a, it's a weird episode because I was in a really bad mood and mostly talk about health update stuff in my like little free form segment. If you want to know how I'm doing, I'm fine. But it was I was very depressed that day, so I was just giving out a bit on that episode. So I'm a little weird about it coming out, but it's gonna be out. Wednesday's Great Gun Project. We watched uh Brave Battle Warriors. Uh <laughs> Lupu was like, if I can just have a peaceful country and protect everyone's smile, no one will ever come to harm. Not realizing that he lives in the Three Kingdom scenario where other people are going to take his land if he does not do something about it. Um, and then we watch Dragon Ball Z Lord Slug, which is really good. Uh, and then on Friday will be a VoIP life. Uh, I'll tell you right now, it opens with me having I slept four hours uh, that night and then had went to the game store that morning and talk about going to the game store on a like a they were doing a huge PS2 game sale event and talk about my experience being in hell, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it was not that bad, but it does it does open with me kind of manic talking about how on four hours of sleep I was thrust into the realm of gamers. Um and uh, I think it's a good episode. That sounds exciting. Yeah. Um, wonderful. Um and you can find links to abnormal mapping and all of their things down in the description. Um, oh yeah. I just did an adventure game hunt clubbers adventure gamers clubhouse episode for um the legend of Crandia book two the hand of fate um which is as weird and wacky as the first one and then some um but uh it's a great time um i have so much fun right up until the very 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 end um because that game then decides to like it puts a bad puzzle and like then there's there's actually there's a couple of puzzles where it's just like i don't know what you want me to do i'm just going to try things and um eventually they click um but yeah um that's fun there's also a six hour shadow run returns dead man switch up for a five dollar patreon subscriber holy shit uh i didn't realize it was six hours at the time i thought i was like i was like you know what I, i'm gonna go over and you know we'll do this last mission because i think this is the end of the game and i like somehow psychologically just cut out like four hours of the game and thought okay. like oh yeah this i jumped i jumped ahead like four missions and ended up like just i'm like damn this just keeps going on and on and on and it's not stop and there's another one after what, what the hell where's the i know this ends at some point and then i thought i'd done four hours and then it turned out i'd done six hours um so there's an extra special doozy of one there um i'm not sure when i'll get back to vesper asperities i mangled my hand um which makes clicking i'm using the mouse with my left hand right now actually because uh -huh. um clicking with the the right hand not so good um but you know we'll we'll figure it out um until then enjoy the point and click games because i can do those yeah <laughs> um but yeah and you can find links to that down in the description as well and then hopefully you'll come back next time to see us play leisure suit larry as we Absolutely. enter the land of the lounge lizards Lounge lizards, lounge lizards. Jesus, there you go. I got it. My impeccable sense of direction. Yeah, famous. <laughs> For more about my impeccable sense of direction, uh, you could read my latest on paste, which yeah. I specifically call attention to just just for M. It's it's a really good piece. Uh, Thank you. you taught me things I didn't know about Games Workshop. <laughs> yes um, so yeah so we'll see you next time everyone and um, until then enjoy the greatest David Bowie song of all time the Bewley Brothers bye bye
And so the story goes, they wore the clothes, they said the things to make it seem improbable. The wail of a lie like the hope it was. And the good men tomorrow had their feet in the wallow and their heads are brawn with nice are shown and how they bought their positions with saccharine and trust. And the world was asleep to our late and fuss. Sang the swell through the streets like the crust of the sun of you, dear brothers. In our wings that bark, flashing gleams of brass, standing tall in the dark. So he could scream and still relax Unbelievable And he frightened the small children away And our talk was old And dust would flow through our veins And lo, it was midnight back at the kitchen door Like the grim face on the cathedral floor Solid book we wrote cannot be found today. And it was stalking time for the moon boys, the Beauty Brothers. With our backs on the arch, and the devil may be here, but he can't sing about that. The dress is hung, the ticket pawned, the factor max that proved the fact is melted down. Woven on the edging of my pillow. And my brother lays upon the rocks, he could be dead, he could be not, he could be you. He's chameleon, comedian, Corinthian, and caricature. Shooting up high in the sky, beauty brothers. In the feeble in the bed, beauty brothers. In the blessed and closed, in the crutch and the dark. Bye.